genius. If you guys follow me on Snapchat or are subscribed to my vlog channel, you guys know these are like my kind of words, especially no puedo, which means I can't in English. I say it all the time, so I just thought it was so genius. So we're gonna test out this product and see if it's a fuego or a no puedo. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> the fuck was that? So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a first impression on this foundation in a jar. Girl, my first impression already, I'm like, what the hell, this is so tiny. I have come across a few reviews and I have not seen like the full videos because obviously I wanna get a feel for the foundation myself. But when I was going through these videos, I could have sworn this jar was like literally a jar, which is stupid of me to think that. But this thing is so small. It is 0.7 ounces. Most of my liquid foundations are about one fluid ounce. So this is a Korean brand and the name of it is 16 brand. This did retail for $26, which is insane. That's actually very expensive, I think. Maybe I'm underestimating it. What if it's really bomb, you know? Because a lot of foundations are actually way more expensive than that. One thing that I noticed about this brand is they only have two different shades. So I got the color light beige, which is the lightest one, and then there's a second color, which is sand beige. It's a little bit darker than this one, but it's not really a difference, which sucks because if it's something that I really do like, I, you know, I'm recommending it and not everybody would be able to like try it out their brand is not that diverse like you know so it does come in this little box it does come with a little spatula that looks just like this let's just open this up it comes with a little plastic container above it I do notice there's like already foundation dripping out from the sides already just by looking at it it looks super thick you see how thick it is? Like, it's not falling out. So I'm assuming it's gonna be like something that's very full coverage. I really hope so. And there seems to be a lot of product. We're gonna take our little spatula that it came with and just scoop a little bit out. And we're just gonna start dabbing this on the face. Maybe I could even use my fingers too because I feel like I'm not used to using a spatula when it comes with my foundation. Uh, well, that feels really thick. Dude, this feels like... I can't describe the formula of it. It feels kind of moussey, kind of thick, but like a lightweight mousse. Oh god, I don't even know. But this looks like super full coverage. So one side I do want to use a, a beauty blender, and then the, on the other side I want to use a brush. Just because I always like switch it up when it comes to my foundation. I think I got a good amount, but already as you can see it looks very uh, thick. Yeah, it feels like... Mm, it has like a, a light smell of foundation. It smells like a little bit of baby powder. Like it's not even nothing strong. It looks like it's my color. The only thing that sucks is, first of all, if you're lighter than me, you're probably not gonna find your shade. And if you're darker than me, like you really only have one more option, which freaking sucks. But yeah, we're gonna blend this out and see. My friend just called me right now, so I had to take a little break. It is starting to dry on my face. I think it's giving me like a dry, like a powdery finish, which is really cool. This one is just giving me that like slight smell of baby powder, you know? Uh, but it does blend out really good. And it's not getting patchy in any areas. It does feel a little bit, like you do feel it on the skin now that it's like drying up. This is already more than enough coverage, honestly. This really reminds me of the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. That one is so freaking good. It's so full coverage and a lot of people don't like it because it's so heavy. Like if you guys have the Airspun Loose Powder, that's exactly how it smells, you know how it has like that grandma smell? Like very antique, like baby powder. So this is how this side looks. It is super full coverage and it doesn't feel heavy. Like I don't feel it on my skin. And I think it's drying to like a powdery finish. Like it is transferring a little bit on my fingers, but not even like that much. So this is how it looks with a brush. I feel like a brush is always gonna give you the most coverage. So I'm gonna take my Sigma 3D HD blender uh, sponge. If this was a pump, it would actually be so much better. It's like you're literally digging the product out. But I feel like that's what makes this unique. It's actually in a jar and it's super cute. Kind of hard not to apply so much with that little spatula. So I'm gonna go in there and take my sponge. It's not looking as heavy. It is blending up really good though. If you do let it sit on your face though for a while, I feel like it would eventually dry. I think it's pretty cool because I don't like when foundations look too dewy on my skin. I'm really shocked that this is like the perfect match for me. I know this is doing the most guys. This is already amazing coverage. You know, I like to look a little bit more. Feet. And it is buildable. It doesn't get like ugly or cakey. By this time, I'll have like really bad creases on my forehead because I have really deep wrinkles right here. I don't think there's anything building up yet. I do want to try to apply this underneath my eyes. Unfortunately, this is not lighter than obviously the rest of my face, but I want to see how 
it covers my dark circles. It kind of does have like a concealer texture. Yeah, this does work for a concealer. All right, I'm gonna zoom in, you guys, just so you could really get what I'm talking about. So as you can see, it looks very good. It's not creasing fast either. Like, you know when you apply concealer, like right away it creases, like you have to actually go dab in there before you set it. It looks like it would stay in place, which is absolutely crazy. I freaking am so impressed. Okay guys, I think this is the first foundation I've ever tried that actually works as a concealer too. I'm shocked. Like it's literally not creasing. This honestly looks good both sides. I'm like so impressed. I do have like a little bit extra coverage with a brush side, but this side looks so freaking flawless. I'm just shocked that my under eyes are not creasing. This foundation claims to be a quick and lightly melting cream texture, which is true. And it's a quick fitting and long lasting foundation. Yam root extract, evening primrose oil, cotton seed extract for moisture, hides skin bumps for flawless skin, moisturizes and nourishes dry skin. So I have oily skin, but honestly, I don't care. Like it really does feel moisturizing. It, moisturizing. it really does feel moisturizing on the face, but it doesn't feel like it's like an oily mess. It feels really great. It does feel lightweight. It's very blendable. And I think the oils that it has in there does leave the face very moisturizing. Like that's what I noticed. I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back to give you guys my final results. All right, you guys, I have my makeup all done. My final thoughts of this foundation. It is Fuego. I freaking love it. The only thing that I'm so disappointed about is that they only have two shades. Although it is a Korean brand, like, you know, if it's something that people start talking about more, I would really think it'd be amazing if they bring out more colors because it is such a great foundation. Aside of that, like, the formula is amazing. It does not feel drying on the face whatsoever. I know the Marc Jacobs one, like, a lot of people really like it because it's full coverage, but if you have dry skin, it really clings on, like, dry areas of the face. I freaking love it. And the fact that I could use it also for concealer is is amazing I just went over my under eyes and just set it with powder that was it and I feel like it gave me such a great coverage this is how the foundation looks up close with like you know all the other powders laying on top it does not look at all heavy which I freaking love like I'm so impressed you guys this is an amazing foundation. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Fuego or No Puedo series. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it or if you guys have any other name recommendations. I don't know. I really like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. If you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell. That way you guys are updated when I upload future videos. Also, don't forget to check out my vlog channel. I'm going to have that link down below as well as my other social medias like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and Snapchat as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!